long time no see, people. Got another thought of the day for you. And the thought of today is, why do girls love, love, love waste men? Specimens waste. What? That's it. Every time you hear a girl complain about a waste man, a waste man. But it seems like these are the only guys that these girls are giving chances to. Do you hear girls complain about good guys? No. You know why? Because it sounds stupid. Oh, why'd you leave Frankie? Um, well, he was too nice. Do I have to stone you or club you to show you that I love you? I don't understand what's wrong with you girls. It's like you want to get good guys. It's like, it's like you have to be short or something for you to fall in love with us. What's your problem? It's like the good guys ain't good enough. Oh, he, he pays to me at the cinema. Oh, oh, he asked me if I'm okay. Oh, oh, you're dumb. Is that too much? Or too little? What's wrong with you? And then you ask a girl, why do you find these guys attractive? What do they tell you? They're exciting. They can protect me. What's exciting about selling drugs? Or what's exciting about worrying about beating people up on the street or getting beat up on the street? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm bored because I have aspirations and dreams and I have a career. Brandon, what do you want to do? I'm going to stay in tonight. Oh, I'm bored. Oh, I'm sorry. This thing is all about. I'm boring because I want to provide for my future. What was I thinking? Maybe I should just sell drugs, yeah? Or maybe we just go go cinema and strut them because I got beef with this guy, a younger stab man, an older murderer, yeah? And, and all those type of people, yeah, with violent names, yeah? Maybe, maybe I should just shoot the postman every other day. Maybe that will make you, make you fool for me, mate. Ain't that exciting? Yeah, let's run from feds up the other day, like, babe, hold this for me, hold that for me. Yeah, that's love. And the worst part, girls try to fend this nonsense behavior. Let me date a girl who is the biggest hoe come London. You think that I'm gonna stay with her? Why? Because she's exciting. STIs ain't exciting. Syphilis is stifling. It ain't exciting. Pregnancy is not exciting. I may be going off topic here, but I'm very passionate about this issue. Good guys can't catch a break. Why? Because they're good guys. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm concerned for you. That must mean I'm tripping. I want it to work. I must be tripping. But you stay over a guy who beats you like a, like a battered piece of meat. You stick with him. Why? Because he's exciting. I'm sorry that black eyes and broken jaws is exciting, but that's just not my thing. The funny thing is, girls are the quickest to pick up when their friends are being waste. No. I'll be like, she'll be like, she'll go home to her man who's also waste. And she'll be like, Jermaine, you know Chantel? She's a waste cash. All she does is sit at home, smoke weed, sniff coke, play PlayStation, and watch CBeebies. When Jermaine's doing exactly the same thing. But Jermaine is the fastest to go, oh, she's a waste. What's wrong with you girls? And the thing is, you only don't, you only don't see till Jermaine yet. You don't see Jermaine's a waste man till the end of the relationship. What we've been trying to tell you for the whole relationship? you be like nine months, but on the eighth month you seem to go, Jermaine's a bit of a waste man, ain't he? Newsflash! He is! Now, let's get this really clear. We're not saying to beat girls. We're not saying to do any of that stuff. But unfortunately, these are effective methods. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. How many times have you heard of a girl staying in an abusive relationship or a relationship where she's not being treated equal? This is going to be another news flash. When you treat girls crappy, they stay on you. Treat them with respect, when treat them with respect that respect goes to their head. And then they go, oh, well, he respects me. I must take the piss. And they do it every time. And it's so annoying that they do this. Why? Because you're treating them like a human being. When you treat a girl like a human being, then she starts acting like a donkey dump. What can you do? Fellas, dump these dumb donkey. Why? Because then they'll be feeling you. Oh my goodness! I've been thinking, maybe, maybe we've been going out the good guys, guys, like waiting to approach girls a bit wrong. Maybe instead of greeting over a kiss when you come home from work, go over an uppercut. Full of a suplex, maybe. Maybe bottle her. I think these are the only things that girls seem to understand. Because hugs ain't working. Kisses ain't working. Remembering her birthday don't work. Valentine's Day, being nice. Shit. The only way she stays is you forget these things. Forget her birthday. Forget Easter. Forget Christmas. Forget all of those. And she will adore you. Right?
right about now there's a lot of girls yelling at the screen, yelling at the screen. That's not the way. That's not the way. You are the ones we're talking about. You. There are girls and there are women. Women don't want a waste man because they want a guy with aspirations, with dreams, that can work, that, that wants to get off the block in the corner better for himself and provide for a future. Girls don't want that. Why? Because that's boring. I have just said it, and I'm not from Collie Park. What y'all need to understand is guys know the game, which is why you get played. Guys know that girls don't want a guy, guys don't, girls don't want a guy that's there for them. Guys know this. That's why when a guy gives a girl a cold shoulder, she turns over. For mo, sir. Oh, Ramen. This is the point. When girls start to respect themselves, guys will then respect them in kind. Until then, you will be the doormat. Like Daily Boy said, I'm sure there's a lot of girls acting ape right now. Putting throwing, your, throwing the mouse at the screen saying, Oh, he's trying shit. He don't know me. He don't know how I am. But we know about your boyfriend. He's probably the same Jermaine I'm talking about. And like, what do you want to be 10 years from now? The block. Wait, 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 you think, you, what, you think he's gonna go out? You think you're gonna have kids, yeah? And he's gonna go, stay here, stay here, Jermaine Jr. Daddy's gotta go lick a shot. Yeah, daddy gotta go sell some weed. Yeah, that's you! Do your thing! Me, I'm for a woman. Why that makes sense when she talks? Not, not one, oh, he was a waste man. Oh, he is a waste man. If I'm being a waste man, I expect you to tell me I'm being a waste man. Don't be and I know a lot of girls going to be trying to light up the Facebook page and light up the YouTube page saying how we're wrong. Girls, we expect you to do this. So we're rolling up the carpet for you. Leave the comments. Because there's not a woman alive that's going to disagree with us. Women know how stupid girls can be. Why? Because they were them. Oh, you think we didn't know? Good guys are aware y'all acting stupid. And good guys ain't taking that for much longer. And unfortunately, it's only a certain particular nationality that likes these stupid traits for a guy to have. I'm not going to say no colors. But you know who he is. And if I got to date outside the R-A-C-E to get what I want, Ballin'! Now, I know a lot of you girls, right now, as this video is rolling, as I speak, as words fly from my lips, I'll type in negative comments. I want you to take one moment. Just stop. Take a break from your angry typing for a sec. And think about what happened to Dwayne. I was in that video. So just imagine. <laughs> Mika will be a very happy daddy. You know the website anyway. Mika's corner at hotmail.com forward slash.